But uh, searching the, uh, uh, the whole of, of the possible combinations of wheel start position was a very long process. And uh, the uh, engineers, uh, Tommy Flowers and Carol at Dollis Hill, added a very nice feature onto the Mark II, which involved remembering the, uh, the, the, the previous four uh, characters from the Kai stream, and then doing multi-testing simultaneously on the Z signals coming from the tape. And this speeded up the whole operation by a factor of five, which was very impressive indeed. So, on the uh, K2 switch panel, in the center there is the R bus. That's the remembered bus. And that contains the, um, uh, the, the, the current and the and minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four of the uh, signals from the Chi stream. And so, when you get down to producing, putting the, the algorithm on, for, um, for, 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 for the uh, one plus two, uh, whereas in the uh, in, in the normal algorithm you would uh, switch um, k1 and k2 uh, into the uh, added together, you can now use the remembered bits from the uh, remembering circuits here, like that, and so now the algorithm is that you're going to test uh, in on the first case here the current bit from the chi stream, and that's going into counter one, and then uh, back one, that's minus one, and that's going into counter two, that's current minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. And those are then, then go into the counters, and then in order to engage the multi-test facility, you have to do some special switching on the master switch panel. So now you want to use the multi-test facility on K2. And that involves putting this switch down here into the K2 position. And that engages multi-test on K2. Mm -hmm. So the, the current uh, um, a bit, uh, character bit, bit for K2 of the current uh, setting will be in, um, in remembering naught. And then the previous um, ones will be uh, cascaded down through the remembering circuits. And so you will always have a total of five bits available. And those five bits can be tested simultaneously on, on, on the current character you're reading from the tape. And in order to, uh, uh, to, 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 do, to do this, you also have to step. And so uh, you have to use the, the uh, stepping system uh, on the K2 wheel, which steps every, every five positions. And so the K wheel steps five. The K1 reader will, will carry and step every time. So you'll, you'll go through every possible combination of K1 and, and K2, but stepping five, uh, five times faster on the K2 wheel. So, in order to engage the, um, the, 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 the multi-testing, uh, we have to set the, 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 the multi-test there. We're stepping on K2. And now um, we, can, we can now um, engage the, the stepping. And you can see that now stepping round uh, in five sequence round there. And that is now uh, looking at, 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 at five, five bits at a time all the way around there. And that is uh, going now five times faster through the complete number of settings of the, of, the, of the K2 wheel. And now, by switching in the printer, we can go through the run, starting at uh, position one there. There, and that now has found the uh, found two, two, two counts in excess of 3,000. One at 01, 3,005, and the larger one at 11, at count, counter C, 3,011. But of course, that means that the A counter is on 11, so the B counter, one back, is on 10, and the C counter is on 9, 
So that's actually 9 there. It's found position 9 of 3011, which is what it found on a single stepping run.